Hey, how we doing, beautiful people? Another day that the Lord has kept us. I pray that you can find the joy and be glad in this day. Um, I want to welcome you to Kingdom Talk. My name is Cephas, and I'm an apostle of Christ. Look, I know our word is going through a lot right now, and um, I just want to let you know that God is still a good God, and God is still a great God. Don't give up and don't give in. Emotions are high right now, but if you make God the source of your emotion, you will experience what he wants you to experience. Emotions are dumb. Emotions have to emote over something, meaning they only feed over your thoughts. So no matter what you're going through, uh, whether you're going through depression, anxiety, and these are realistic things that people go through. And um, as Dr. Tony Evans says, uh, the word caused these addiction. But when you come into the spiritual realm of Christ, those are called emotional strongholds. So meaning, if you go to the root of your emotions and you figure out where these emotions are coming from, you will be able to overcome. Because with addiction, they say, oh, there's no cure for it, you're stuck. But when you get God to help you figure out the root of your emotions, you tend to overcome. And um, again, like Dr. Tony Evans said, it's like the fire alarm. When the alarm goes off in your house, you don't just ignore the sound of the alarm. Something is going to happen, right? That means there's a fire somewhere. That's why the alarm is going off. That means there is smoke somewhere. That's why it's going off. So when your emotions are high, when you start to feel depressed, when you start to feel anxious, that means there, there's something that, that you have not taken care of that is causing these to happen. And the only way you can figure that out is if you go to the root of it in Christ. Because if we get a new invention here today and there's no manual or the owner of the invention is not there, you're not going to know how to figure that out. Even if you do, it's going to take a long time. But if the manual is there or if the inventor of this thing is there, you're going to have a higher chance of figuring out how to use the new invention. It's the same with us. God created us in his image, and he was pleased with us when he created us. So if we want to figure out the root to all of our emotions, let's go to him and ask him to show us why we feel a certain way, why certain things happen a certain way. He desires a better relationship with you and I. That's what Jesus says. We have to be like the five wise virgins, not like the five foolish virgins in Matthew chapter 25, because he is tarrying right now. And one day, he is going to come. And he is going to say, either come in with me, or he's going to say, depart from me. I do not know you. That type of knowledge is um, not an intellectual knowledge. It is a personal knowledge. So it's not about what you know right now. It's about who you know. Do you know Jesus for yourself? Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one goes to the Father except through him. And he says, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you want to know the truth through why you're going through what you're going through, why you're not experiencing the breakthrough that you want to experience, come to Jesus. He says, come unto me, all ye that are labor and heavy laden, I'll give thee rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yoke yourself to Jesus, and I'm not guaranteeing you that you will avoid the problems of life. Because we all cannot avoid it. Even Jesus says we will have problems in this word because the word hated him first. But we should be of good cheer because he has already overcome the word. And because Jesus overcame the word, you too can overcome. And you can say a prayer like he taught us to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. You see, we want whatever is up there with him to be experienced here on earth. And that is why we will continue to have these kingdom talks so that we can experience heaven here on earth. Because he lived, we can all face tomorrow. Hey, thank you for watching. I pray that you can seek God so he can show you how to overcome whatever you're going through because he is the answer to the word today. Everything you need lies in Jesus Christ. So share with your family, share with your friends, share with your loved ones. Hit the subscribe button for more Kingdom Talk, and I promise you, 
We're not going to be able to help you avoid the trials of life, but we will guide you through. Because Psalms 119 and 105 tells us that his word is a lamb unto our feet and a light unto our path. And may God bless you. May God keep you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with somebody. Stay focused in this unfocused word and be blessed.